Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another session of podcast. I wish and I'm sure you will enjoy listening to the progress. Today's topic is a very aromatic one, is a very tasty one. We're talking about the human food that we get from the animal kingdom. Think of your chicken biryani or your fish curry or fried fish, etc., etc., etc. Let's look a little bit at about these foods. So, so before we get into our topic, uh, could you throw a little light on the difference between the foods that we get from the plant kingdom, that's vegetarian food, and the animal kingdom, non-vegetarian food? What is the biggest difference between both of these? Okay, fine. Uh, you uh, have to understand uh, one basic uh, nature's law mm -hmm. is what uh, the people should also know. Everything in this world, either it is living organisms, the plant kingdom, the insects or the animals, the reptiles, the human beings, the birds, mm -hmm. the marine kingdom, the fish and all those marine life. And also the geological material, like all kinds of salts, minerals, metals and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Everything is not an independent factor. Okay. Everything is a dependent factor. Mm -hmm. This is what is very important for you to understand. Mm -hmm. One entity will depend on another entity right. or more number of other entities. Mm -hmm. So, if you take a human being, mm -hmm. he is dependent on air to breathe, mm -hmm. water to drink, right. food to eat right. and then the geomagnetic field mm -hmm. in which we live. There is right. a connection between you and the geomagnetic field right. that is required mm -hmm. and then the cosmic waves mm -hmm. which we receive. Right. So all these five are important to you. Mm -hmm. Otherwise there is no life. Once I take you away in the space beyond the geomagnetic field, mm -hmm. you are dead. That means you can't literally travel in a space beyond certain distance. Beyond certain distance, yeah. That is for sure. Hmm. So I'm not trying to criticize what uh, space <laughs> exploration is all about. This is the truth. Hmm. So now you are asking about the plant kingdom and the animal kingdom. Uh, food chosen food. by us that we pick up our food from here. Right. So, we have spoken about uh, Saivam and Asaivam before. Mm. We are not going to come into that. Mm. I am just brushing your knowledge on that. Yeah. So, ever since the, the human beings were created by the nature, the human beings have learnt everything from the animal kingdom. What to eat and what not to eat. Right. So, we, we, were, we, were, we were also eating from the plant kingdom. We were also eating from the animal kingdom. Mm -hmm. So, it all depends on, 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 on what generation you are born. And what was the food given to you from a childhood? Mm -hmm. So, if you are used to uh, non-veg food, this, this um, uh, animal kingdom food like meat, the eggs and all that stuff which you are, which you are used to it. Mm -hmm. the, the plant kingdom is also coming a part of your food or only plant kingdom food. Mm -hmm. You know, your milk is involved, everything is involved. So, we, we balance ourselves with some amount of all these things. There are people who only stick to uh, plant kingdom food. The plant kingdom food is easier to digest. Okay. The animal kingdom food is slightly harder to digest. Mm -hmm. But the difference, what is more, which has to be looked into it here, which the ancient science speaks, is the microbial load of any component which you choose for your food. Mm -hmm. As long as they are fresh and cooked and eaten immediately, it, it doesn't harm you much. If you are going to go in for processing and you know frozen, mm -hmm. you have a shop here in Chennai. I don't want to mention the name. You have hundreds of products are there. Mm -hmm. You know, you have 25, 30 varieties of French fries are there, mm -hmm. frozen. Mm -hmm. Bring it, keep it in your freezer. Right. Eat it if right the away. children cry, put the pan, put the oil, fry, <laughs> get beautiful ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't need to chill it also. Just from the frozen condition, you can put in oil. It will all go inside mm. to the bottom. Yeah. As it fried, it comes up. It comes Just up. take it out. Mm. So that kind of food, mm. you have these mozzarella cheese sticks, you know, jalapeno poppers, different type of samosas, cutlets. Yeah. They are all been cooked mm. and frozen at minus 18 degree Fahrenheit or some, some temperature they mm. have. Buy it and keep it in your freezer and cook them and eat. That is not going to help you. 
like what we discussed in the last program. So, irrespective of it being veg or non-veg, it's going it to is, be bad. It, it, it depends on the physical um, 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 gene, memory and what not from, from the generation in which you are born. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, I am a, I, I, I am a tribal mm -hmm. in a forest. I don't live in a mainstream of civilization. And I am a hunter. Right. I hunt a deer, mm -hmm. bring it. I don't store them. Mm -hmm. I skin them up, take the flesh, cook it fire it, whatever, like tandoori, and I eat it. Hmm. So, you are not government, I am not, there is nobody to teach him and he has, he lives with nature, hmm. he learns from nature. Right. So, reading nature, studying nature, trying to understand nature, trying to realize nature in the end, hmm. is something beyond from your books. Hmm. The books, whatever various subjects, or or basic principles of science and other theories you can study, mm -hmm. which is all written by somebody. Right. Here, the people who live in live along with nature, mm -hmm. they are children of God. They, they are also children of God and they understand nature much better than us. True. In tsunami, mm -hmm. so many people died in the transition tsunami in 2004. Mm -hmm. There is a particular tribe in Andaman, not a single person died. Because they know tsunami is coming. You can read it. Yeah. They were all on the treetops, mm -hmm. quietly watching. Mm -hmm. when, the, when the Indian Air Force went and took a survey of that land, island, mm -hmm. they are all, not a single person is lost. So, this is what you have to understand. Mm -hmm. in, in whatever, whatever is your next question, you can ask. Okay. Um, so, among all the um, uh, animal foods that are available, uh, is there a preferred one or we've heard about red meat and white meat and fish, etc. So, is there something that's preferred that's better for the human body and digestion and nutrition? Or how would you categorize all the um, animal food products that we have available? See, um, we, we, are, we are now around uh, 700 to 720 crore people around the world. Mm -hmm. um, so, we need food for all of us. Right. Okay. The animal kingdom represents huge amount of our food. Yeah. Today, if we are going to make the entire humanity to get educated, to tell them that only plant kingdom food is good for you, mm -hmm. we are going to run short of food. There won't be space to grow we it. We don't have. <laughs> okay. The most highest produced food in, 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 in animal kingdom is beef. Beef, yeah. Okay. There are nearly about 70 to 80 million metric ton is produced, processed and whatnot, mm -hmm. made available. Then comes the pork. Mm -hmm. Okay. Deer in most part of the world is banned. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in, in, in a lot of Arab world, they eat a lot of camels. Yeah. Then comes uh, your, your lamb and goat, sheep. Mm -hmm. It's huge. Mm -hmm. Then comes your chicken. chicken yeah. Then comes your eggs. Mm -hmm. Then comes all the other small quantities of various birds. People eat pigeon, people eat in that... Uh, Quail and so many things. Mm. Those are all small quantity, but chicken is the highest because it's an industry by itself. Mm. Then it comes here marine food, mm -hmm. the sea fish sea. and the fresh water. If there is more of sea fish mm. and less of fresh water fish. In that, you, in, in, we eat squids, we eat uh, prawn, we eat crab. Uh, they are all white blood animals. They don't have the red blood. Mm. So now, what you have to understand here is the microbes. Mm -hmm. Today in South India, in Namakkal, near Salem, 3 crore egg is produced per day. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Supplies to the entire India. Mm -hmm. Goes to many other places like Mauritius, Maldives and all these areas. Mm -hmm. Now, if you take the human body, mm -hmm. the human chemistry, mm -hmm. you know what is the closest food? The mm -hmm. most human friendly food on earth for a human being? Fish? Sea fish. Sea fish. I remember you saying it in the past videos. Yeah, right? what because? The microorganisms, in the, we cannot eat all the sea fish. Mm. There are many fish which are highly toxic in nature. When you eat them, you die. Mm. The human beings know. Mm. Many, many thousands of years they studied what the fish we can eat, what the fish we cannot eat. The number of fishes that we have identified to eat, that when you eat them, the microorganisms inside the fish will not harm us by whatsoever. Mm. And you can have your uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner in all three meal a day, you can eat any amount of fish. It mm. won't harm you. Mm -hmm. But whereas the white bread animals are not good, the prawn and crab. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. once in a way you can take them. Uh -huh. the, the next is, this, this, uh, the, the food and nutrition studies 
always preach wrong about the red meat. Yeah. You're right on one aspect. And at the same time, they talk chicken, uh, which is full of protein, protein is the best. Protein, yeah. Yeah. Now we'll talk about that. The beef and pork is no good because of the microbial load. Mm -hmm. The best of the meat is lamb. Lamb, okay. Yeah. Even though it's red meat, it's good, but it's been wrongly portrayed. Mm -hmm. Because those microbes, those proteins are highly acceptable to us. Those microbes do not harm us much. Mm -hmm. The most dangerous food compared to beef and pork mm -hmm. is your cultivated chicken. Mm -hmm. I can tell you one example here. Okay. Tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. if the entire globe mm -hmm. is not going to have any chicken or any egg for anybody. Mm -hmm. And that status quo is maintained. Mm -hmm. In the next six months, 50% of your hospitals can be closed. Oh, yeah. that high, sir? Yeah. So, is it uh, because of the feed that they give the chicken or uh, uh, why, why the, how does it become chicken become so dangerous? When In the present day society, um, the girl children mm -hmm. are reaching puberty at the age of 8 and 9. Right. I don't want to talk more than that. Mm -hmm. The eggs and the chicken mm -hmm. are the cause for many diseases in this world. Right. And the industry is too huge. We can go to the next question. Okay. Uh, so regarding eggs, the egg white is supposed to be, there's a, um, there's a concept of egg white, the albumin being very, very good for health and protein. And even people who uh, claim to not have any non-vegetarian food or uh, animal products, they take the egg white as a source of uh, protein. <laughs> the egg white is as good as egg yellow. <laughs> the, the egg white is as good as egg that uh, yolk that yellow, mm -mm. or the egg white is as bad as the yellow. <laughs> okay. Okay. If mm -hmm. you know, that is why I said, if you go and study them in terms of the nutrient value, mm -hmm. it is all crazy. Mm -hmm. It has no meaning there. Mm -hmm. But we follow certain principles in science. We follow them to the core. At the same time, you know, they, you know, to restrict people into, you know, food processing industry to give some good food and all that stuff. Mm. These mandatory laws are being made. That's good. Mm. But it is not the egg. Egg, egg yellow is a fantastic food. People are here to study about it. Mm -hmm. In your lifetime, I am telling you, you will be before your lifetime. We'll go to read a big article in all the newsprints and, you know, in the internet world and all that. Oh, the egg yellow is so good. Start eating from tomorrow. <laughs> I'm telling you this. <laughs> we look forward. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The, 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 the egg white is as good as egg yellow. The egg yellow is as bad as egg white. Mm. You can call it the same way. Mm. That egg yellow is very good for health. The egg, no way. It's not. Okay. It's not at all correct. Mm -hmm. the, the microbium inside. Mm -hmm. We are here to study about the microorganisms. We'll be studying it in the modern science, maybe in the next few hundred years. Hmm. At that time, all the configuration of this uh, understanding of food materials will change. Okay. So, what about um, food that's supposed to be, you know, uh, the um, say naturally grown or farm, free range chicken, etc. So, um, are these good for the health or do they do the uh, you know you spoke about the industrialization of poultry, no, it, 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 it depends on how, how much you are used to it in the sense like mm. if you take um, uh, i have seen in this uh, in south indian villages and all that um, twice a week they may have fish once mm. a week they'll have mutton that is mm. a lamb mm. once in a month or maximum twice in a month they have chicken country pots mm. Imagine the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the eggs are hatched at home mm. by the mother bird yeah. uh, for 21 or 27 days, I remember, mm. and then the chicks will be born. And then it takes six months for a, for a, for a bird to grow to some level. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Here, this, the, the, a bird which is cultivated industrially mm -hmm. grows in 18 days. Of three kilos. Eighteen days, sir. Hmm. Well, that's very shocking. I have not heard this information ever. <laughs> yeah, you have not heard. That's because of the hormone that they Hormones mix it in food and both now it's in water also. Previously, they started 20, 20 years back injecting them. Hmm. Then they came into food, mixed hmm. in food. Then now mix it in water also. Hmm. Eighteen days, your chicken is grown. My God. Hmm. 
they take a particular gene hmm. and then they modify the gene and develop these birds hmm. it's a big industry by itself right. there are very big companies who does this they rule the world hmm. i'm sure what do you think is the extent of those businesses it runs into thousands of crores yeah sure not hundreds of crores thousands hmm. of crores and then they develop the feed for it Mm. and they make the breast area grow bigger because you get a boneless meat there mm. those chicken cannot stand they just fall off like this right because the load is so much the load is too high ah. so so here in 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 it's not the question of uh, this uh, this this all this uh, um, meat which we take from the birds mm. it is it is lot of heat to us mm. it creates a lot of heat in us as as we eat and digest them. Mm. so people are brilliant enough to space how to eat them you know those non those people who eat uh, food which uh, rep- representing for us from the animal kingdom they they eat uh, normally they don't eat beef and pork you mm-hmm. can you can you can notice all the people who are eating beef gets into lot of skin problem after the age of 40 45 mm-hmm. you know if you, if if you if you see uh, ladies permanently wearing socks in their legs mm-hmm. or beef eaters mm-hmm. and uh, pork has very dangerous microorganisms when they are not cooked properly mm. they can smash you off okay. but it is hu- used um, consumed huge so um, it it all depends on the, uh, everything is uh, calculated in terms of microorganism which is understood by the, uh, by the by the ancient community so if you will carefully look at it they use um, beautifully space and use uh, these these uh, uh, animal kingdom materials like they they'll have twice a week some fish they'll mm. have once a week some mutton they'll they'll have some um, country eggs uh, country fowls eggs and all that little bit here and there they give to children and then um, uh, they have this salted fish once in a way and things like that mm. but when it comes to the question of bird meat they eat maximum once or twice a month not more than not more than that no. okay here now we are eating every day <laughs> yeah it's available it's so available that yeah yeah um so there's a new concept food uh based on insects uh because of the very high protein value and uh, the low microbial load can you tell us a little more about that is insect it insect really food good? has been uh, been been there in the ancient days also mm-hmm. there's one particular insect we call it as easel mm-hmm. um during the rainy season the ants like stuff fly and come and surround uh-huh. your bulbs and all that right right uh. Uh, i remember that they used to they all uh, you know after some time uh, die and fall fall off from they collect them mm-hmm. they remove the feathers Dings, uh. and then uh, fry them up with uh, some uh, flat rice and uh, this bale and all that stuff mm-hmm. they make a mixture like stuff mm-hmm. and then and there it was eaten and finished off ha huh, okay this this one thing uh, i have seen mm. um Uh, there are there, there uh, the, those people who uh, medicinally also i have seen certain things mm-hmm. the snail mm-hmm. uh, which which is uh, uh, you know they they procure the snails from the fields mm-hmm. agricultural fields and bring them and mm-hmm. remove the shell mm-hmm. and then uh, they clean it up and cook and give it to people who suffer from piles uh-huh. very bad piles mm-hmm. you get cured and uh, even the slime is very medicinal i think they make a lot of uh, other medicines for skin uh, problems etc from from the snail slime yeah uh, that is used to a large extent for skin products and uh, eczemas etc medicines like that that uh, I, i have whatever i have experience mm-hmm. i have seen i have spoken to a lot of people uh, uh, in and around uh, southern peninsula the, the snail is used for piles normally Mm-hmm. uh more than that i have not seen insect insect food has been uh, started from this uh, uh, mongolian region this, this korean peninsula and mm-hmm. taiwanese and all these all these areas yeah. uh, thailand and all this far east right that's been recently started in the last 20 years mm-hmm. this 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 an insect food festival goes on uh-huh. and, and god has given you so much uh, finally they don't want to leave the insects also <laughs> so just jumped on to it it's it's there are a lot of people in caribbean islands and uh, big part of uh, latin america and all that they they eat these uh, big size scorpions Mm-mm. they 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 eat them 
and uh, there are certain communities uh, in 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 uh, tamil nadu also mm -hmm. they they eat those uh, big size scorpions now they eat everything they eat cockroaches uh, they eat all kinds of beetles yeah. uh, beetles yeah, yeah, beetles yeah, yeah. etc seen yeah, that yeah, in yeah, thailand yeah, yeah. yeah they are all there are some some beetles are very expensive also uh, yeah uh, I, i keep seeing them uh, these food insect food festivals mm -hmm. and they they come in large quantity and sell them i have absolutely no idea of what nutrient it has Mm -hmm. we have nothing we have enough to eat mm -hmm. i don't think so we should go to the but there is one statistics which says there are more than 1 lakh species of insects are there on earth mm -hmm. the mankind has identified only 10000 mm -hmm. so far and named them mm -hmm. the balance 90% we have not even seen them uh -huh. <laughs> there's a statistics there mm -hmm. and the other, the next next step of that statistics is if you take the entire uh, insect world collect all of these one lakh species and their population and weigh them hmm. they weigh more than us they love to weigh they us. weigh more than that 700 uh, yeah. human being populations hmm. net weight mm -hmm. this much i know okay um, so is eating meat and uh, meat products anywhere related to colon cancer or any kind of cancer yeah this is where uh, you know you see a lot of people in europe and arab and all that uh, there are a lot of uh, um, people who die because of colon cancer Mm -hmm. that's why i said it's a microbial load of the components because all these people are you know um they don't they don't they don't get access to fresh meat mm -hmm. now if you go the entire europe america canada most of the advanced uh, slightly rich latin american countries um when it comes to the question of uh, australia new zealand japan all these people are you know only having access to frozen meat mm -hmm. there'll be a huge counter in length by about 20 feet uh, or even 200 feet in big big shopping malls when you go to dubai and you go to cheddar riyadh and all that um, all the advanced nations where in big shopping malls when you go it's all uh, it's glass made ones you know you, you you can see from start you know only the chicken legs only the chicken breast the full bird mm. you know the winglets like that you know then different types of prawns from different parts of the world then you then you have uh, mint minced meat of beef then you, you know it, mm. it it keeps going you know length after length and you know, all are frozen only mm. that is where we are getting into problems mm -hmm. the frozen meat leads to lots of problem in your intestines mm -hmm. intestine is one which we cannot play with we don't have any treatment for it any medicines for it we don't have chemistry for it mm -hmm. the, the, now the recent research study what is going on is they are concentrating on colon what they say is colon mm -hmm. the larger intestine before the rectum is given importance next to your heart uh -huh. okay. there are so much of microorganisms are there mm -hmm. and one more research says the microorganisms the number of species we have in the colon mm -hmm. is disappearing after the age of 45 50 mm -hmm. we get to see lot of different types of microorganisms mm -hmm. as the age factor goes mm -hmm. and colon becomes a very important uh, area of the larger intestine which which keeps a lot of balance to the rest of the physiological functions Physical. yeah okay. so coming to the age factor uh, how should one space out eating uh, meat and meat products etc as regards to age like a child eating versus an adult or an older person even if you are a, a, a person who is uh, used to all kinds of uh, animal products as your food Mm -hmm. uh in your lifetime right from the day you are born you know as as we grow old mm -hmm. you know um the developmental psychology uh, um, you know space the life from you know childhood to teens to adulthood to middle age to old age and all that the old age starts it's all based on um uh, regeneration the degeneration of the human cells mm -hmm. so when you come to 18 to 21 adulthood the regeneration the degeneration or matched Mm. so we stay intact till the age of 50 52 from 52 the degeneration goes more mm. the regeneration comes Accelerate. lesser and this gap widening up so you slowly start marching towards your old age uh, that's how it's been calculated it's correct mm. no doubt whatsoever uh, there are many methods and systems by the ancients in how to reach your you know um, make your regeneration and degeneration match all the time in the world so that mm -hmm. you can keep an intact health uh we are not going to discuss about that so as you cross say 55 60 it is always better to slow down mm -hmm. and stick to plant kingdom food okay 
no doubt that's, that's, that. that's an important to point. keep to keep uh, to keep a good physiological balance and good health mm -hmm. uh, the, the the plant kingdom food is always easier to digest mm -hmm. the animal kingdom food is always difficult to difficult digest. to digest so yeah. the load on the liver and the colon is much yeah, lower yeah, yeah. right uh, so how did final question is how did our ancient science ancient tradition perceive animal food and having animal food you know animal food is a part of your life mm -hmm. Uh, food is food. There is there is no difference much. You know, it's all been identified. Hmm. You 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 have carbohydrates hmm. from the grain foods. Right. You know you have a lot of other vital stuffs from your vegetables and uh, greens, hmm. and uh, you get good amount of protein mm -hmm. from, the uh, from the animal kingdom food. If you take fish, you have. You have uh, the the omega three, omega six, all these, uh, mm. uh, uh, which is related to your brain and all that. You know, high amount of proteins. See, mm. you have cereals. You have all kinds of dal, mm. uh, which has more of protein, like chenna, like rajma, and all these things. Mm. Uh, no doubt whatsoever. So um, again, um, the animal kingdom uh, uh, food, uh, which is representing in our food and nutrition, is uh, rich in B twelve. Mm. So, vegetarians after you see the age of 50, 55, they run down on B12 because, B12, they, yes. yeah, yeah, these people who stick to plant kingdom food. Yeah. But whereas we hear, uh, the protein rich food is always uh, the food from the uh, animal kingdom. Mm -hmm. And uh, the sports guys, mm -hmm. and the guys who involve in um, uh, field sports, right. and the guys who are involved in hard sports like uh, tennis, which they play for three, four hours continuously. Mm -hmm. The footballers, mm -hmm. which is one and a half hours, you, you run like a, um, a rail engine. Mm -mm. You, you need tremendous stamina. You yeah. have all the strength in the world to your uh, joints and legs and flesh and, you know, all those mm -hmm. so well built they are. And it's, it's, they cannot with the plant kingdom food alone. Right. Yes. It, 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 it really requires, you know, they're all being given a diet of, they, they cannot eat the way they want. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of animal kingdom food represented in their food chart. Right. Yeah. yeah. The protein that they need from the There animal. are exceptional pure vegetarian sportsmen are there in the world. There are only exceptions. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure they have to take it enough protein from the plant food it's only. It depends how uh, each individual who, who looks at all these things, mm -hmm. uh, whether to remain uh, uh, stick to only plant kingdom food or animal kingdom food and things like that. It all depends on the family, the country in which you are born, the geography in which you are born, right. the parents to whom you are born, right. it's, it, the way you have been molded from the, the day you are born. Mm -hmm. Your food and nutrition is directly connected to that. Okay. And yeah, your gene is also directly yeah. connected to that. That's a, that's a very important point that you raised on the genetic memory. It's not about just eating what you get, but also what is you were raised with or your generations were raised with. Your body See, if you, if you, I'll tell you an example for this is, you know, you, in, in, in Siberia is a very big range, hmm. a very, very big range uh, of land in uh, uh, Russia today. Russia, not Russia. And there are, there are parts of Siberia which are too cold. Hmm. And uh, there are uh, some communities who are living there. They don't want to come to the uh, mainstream of land and all that because mm -hmm. they've been born, brought up generations. They are living there. You know what they eat? Seals. They take cut ice mm -hmm. and then allow it to melt. They drink that as water. Mm -hmm. When they break ice, they can see fish. fish. They pull it out. Right. I don't know whether how much they can cook. They eat that. Mm -hmm. They may. Uh, they they have. Very little access to grain food mm. and, and they eat some meat or the other. This is all, they, their, their food is very little. Mm. Their water is ice. Right. And you know what is their, their physiological condition? Mm -hmm. Almost 99.99% no disease whatsoever. Oh. Okay. Mm. You know what is the scientific finding here? Mm -hmm. That ice that they melt, melt and drink mm -hmm. as water mm -hmm. is structured water. Ah, okay. And fish it's is one of the highest food. Hmm. which is too closest to the human body right. and the microbes of these animals, these, these water living animals, Fish. do not harm us at all. That accepted by so, what body. harms you here, whether it's a plant kingdom or an animal kingdom, is the microbial load of the food material. Thank you very much for spending your quality time. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish 
you enjoyed the session see you later